So I get a lot of swimmers, triathletes, and even those that are just getting started asking me this question, Coach Mandy, if you're in deep water with no walls, how do you stop without freaking out, wasting a ton of energy, feeling disoriented, and overall just wanting to feel comfortable, confident, and in control with just really hanging out there? Well, the approach is much different than you may think. Hey everyone, this is Coach Mandy, and in this video, I will be demonstrating three different variations of treading water, as well as one very powerful assessment or test that you can do on your own to help you become more aware and comfortable with each skill that I'm about to demonstrate, so keep watching. Now, if you plan on practicing these drills on your own, it's important to not try these alone. Always be in the supervision and oversight of a lifeguard. So the easiest thing to do is practice at your local aquatic center. Now, if you are a novice swimmer, I highly advise that you practice the assessment first because your overall goal right now is to become mentally prepared for deep water. The good news is you can practice both the assessment and two of the drills in a shallow pool. So again, I would highly recommend that you practice these movements and get comfortable with them in a shallow area so that it gives you time, patience, and consistency to get yourself comfortable moving forward. So in this assessment, you're going to tuck yourself into a ball and hold your air back. Then when you're ready to stand up, simply extend your legs. So with egg beater, you use your arms and legs in a circular motion to keep your head above water. Here is the same example, but in a shallow pool. Here is just scrolling from side to side using your hands only and keeping your feet and legs in a seated position. You can also try this with your legs extended. So in this example, you're just using a relaxed flutter kick to support your head above water, as long as you're not emptying out your lungs. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those video demonstrations. Now, I want to end this video with one important key takeaway, and that is in order to be comfortable in deep water, you have to find your inner buoyancy first, then the rest will follow. All right, you guys, I'm signing off, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, stay tuned for more.